everyone, welcome back to another episode of the Disney Dining Review. We're here at Epcot for the first day of Festival of the Holidays and we are doing the Candlelight Processional dining package tonight for the first night. And with that package, you get several restaurants, right? Yeah, that you get to pick from? Yes, and it depends what pops up. You know, they're filled up pretty quickly, so you kind of grab what you can when you can. And we're doing one tonight for a place that we've never eaten at. And uh, we're yeah. giving it a first try this uh, here at Coral Reef. Coral so. Reef. We've heard <laughs> mixed reviews. Mixed but, reviews. but one person in particular says this is the best. So, <laughs> Tina, you know who you are. This is for you, girl. <laughs> so, we're going to get in there, we're going to try it and uh, we'll give our review when we're done. <laughs> in the shrimp and grits? So it's um, shrimp, shrimp, andouille sausage, um, cheesy grits, uh, let's see here, and some corn succotash, it sounds like, and the Cajun chicken pasta has a pulled chicken with Parmesan cream sauce with roasted mushrooms, peas, peppers, and onions. So I have to eliminate some of those vegetables for all. <laughs> all right, so we'll see how we like them. Melissa's glowing from dinner. <laughs> All right, guys, so we just finished our dinner at the Coral Reef restaurant. Uh, we'll kind of go step by step. First, the aesthetic. Really neat. I really thought it was neat inside there. Uh, seeing the gigantic aquarium, whatever you want to call yeah, it, was really cool. Great. Wasn't that neat? Yeah, I think she said it's the second largest aquarium in the United States. Wow. When I walked in, the, the, the hostess was saying, saying that to us, which was neat. Yeah, so the, the aesthetic was really, really neat. It's not a really big restaurant. We were kind of surprised. I thought it would be bigger, uh -huh. but it wasn't. It was cozy. It's loud. 
And that's yeah. why we're doing this outside, because it was going to be hard to do it in there. But uh, overall, the aesthetic was really neat. Uh, from there, going to the appetizers. First, we got bread. Yep. Bread came out warm. It was good. We enjoyed the bread. Yeah. We like getting bread at a restaurant. I yeah, feel like you're limited do. here. We get good bread and butter, so that's always a plus. Yeah, so we got the bread. Bread was good. Appetizers, I got the shrimp cocktail. It was excellent. I love shrimp cocktail, but it was really <laughs> good. Six good size shrimp. Yep. They were really good size. They weren't small. They were good size. Six of them, too. That was excellent. And you got? I got a trio of dips. Now this is seasonal. So right now, mine were two different hummus and one was a tepanade, an olive tepanade. So if you don't like olives, you know, definitely ask what the seasonal dips are. I very much enjoyed this. Had a lot of fresh veggies and crackers. There's like red peppers, yellow peppers, broccoli, carrots, celery. Um, I really enjoyed the good. flavors of all of them. It was enough for a meal, to be honest. I ate a good amount of it too. Um, didn't eat it all, but it was very good portion size, and I thought it was very tasty. I enjoyed it fresh. It was good. Yeah. Entrees, we got the shrimp and grits, which came with the shrimp, the grits. It had some andouille sausage in there. It had some corn. Like a succotash. Um, like a succotash, mm -hmm. yes. It was very good. I enjoyed that a lot. That was great. And then we also got the Cajun chicken pasta, pasta mm -hmm. which came with chicken, pasta, onions, peppers, peppers peas, peas, mushrooms. Yep. And we kind of shared both dishes, mm -hmm. dishes and I, we enjoyed that too, didn't we? We really did. I, I know Walt's not a big fan of all the veggies and he was thinking, you know, we could pick them out and the first thing he took a bite of, he thought it, it was, was a chicken. Mushroom. It was a mushroom and he was so like, that, <laughs> that wasn't the best. <laughs> but, and they were, they were a different type of mushroom. I think they were a criminy mushroom. And the flavor's a little bit different too. Um, I suggest if you get the pasta, stir it up really good because it was a little watery on the bottom at first, but when you mixed it up with the starch from the pasta, it was really creamy and good. I definitely enjoyed the flavor profiles of both dishes. You know, the Cajun I did shrimp too. was good. Yeah, I did too. The, the, the grits were the cheesy grits. Um, good, fairly, you know, nothing over seasoned or under seasoned. I thought the pasta was really creamy and good. The vegetables was. all tied in really well. I, yeah. We enjoyed both yeah. dishes very much. Yeah, the, the sausage and the, did. yeah, the andouille sausage, the shrimp was good. The grits were good. I enjoyed the uh, the entrees and we're really surprised at how good they were. And then lastly, we got- Although the, I was gonna say, I think the pasta needed more chicken, but because Walt would only eat the pasta and chicken, I was pushing it all over saying, here's chicken, here's pasta. So right. maybe that's why I'm thinking it needed more chicken because they gave it- Because I got it all. <laughs> right. But no, I thought the portions were good. It was it was very hot, it was warm, it was fresh, it was I very good. It very I thought it was very good. Mm -hmm. And then last but not least, we got our two um, desserts. Because again, we were on the, the dining plan of the, um, the candlelight, candlelight processional. So you got a dessert, you got an entree, and you got an appetizer. A lot of food. It's a lot of food. So I got the uh, chocolate cake. The flourless cake, and yep. it has a raspberry sauce at the bottom and a scoop of like a raspberry um, ice cream or sorbet on top. Very rich. Very, very rich. rich. Because it's a flower, flourless cake, it's a very deep, rich, dark, chocolatey, fudgy kind of mm -hmm. cake. So it's a very deep chocolate flavor. Walt first took a bite and he was like, Whoa. You know, oh, it really kind of, yeah. It not, in a, not in a bad way though. He wasn't, wasn't expecting it, I guess. Yeah, I just wasn't expecting it to be that rich. It wasn't bad, it was good, it was just very rich. And then Melissa got the key lime, key lime tart. Mm -hmm. And it's the 50th yeah. celebration, so it had the little circle 50th anniversary, it had some blue with some sparkles on the base. It was it was fine, it was like a graham cracker crust and the, the key lime filling. I enjoyed it, I really like key lime. Um, was it something to go out of the way for? No, to be was, honest, if anything here, I'd say skip dessert. You know, if you're not part of, the, of a package, you know, the appetizers in the meal, I, I could have stopped there very easily. Uh, we didn't eat even half of our desserts and we were just way too much food. Um, it, because it's a special prefix pricing for the candlelight procession, it was $75 a person plus tax. You do get a non-alcoholic beverage, so you just get your, your sodas, your waters, your iced teas, things like that. But um, overall, I think it was a good experience. I really, the service was a little slow, but from what we're seeing with our experiences lately, there are just not enough services servers for the number of people they have coming in. You can tell there's a staffing issue, but our server was very friendly. She just, you know, we had to ask if we needed drink refills. Right. You know, she, different things yeah. took a long time, but I don't feel like it was her fault. She was very, very nice. 
Yeah. And um, it, was, it was a good experience overall. Yeah, I enjoyed it. I thought the food was very, very good. The aesthetic was great. Service was okay. It was enough. Will we say we'd go back? We probably would go yeah, back. I'd be here again. Um, so Tina, <laughs> if you're watching this, I'd say you got it. Would I say it's the best restaurant we've ever been to? No, but it was very good. We are yeah, happy with it. But we've been to a lot more places. So if this had been one of the only dining experiences I've done in Disney, I loved it. Honestly, yeah. compared to some others I've eaten here, it's I could name quite a few where I like this a heck of a lot better. Yep. So I actually did enjoy this, and I, I'd say check it out. Yeah, for sure. Well, there you go, guys. That's our experience at the Coral Reef Restaurant. We definitely say try it. I think you'll probably enjoy it. We did. And uh, that's it. There you go. And until next time. Take care of yourselves and each other. Oh, look at that. The monorail's the going monorail. by. The monorail's going by. <laughs> Guys, have a great night. We'll talk to you all soon. Bye. Bye.